Hi, welcome to the video or the tutorial. We're now on this engine, our merged XFCE, and we're exploring every bit of it. Now, one of the things we could do is add some more things to the panel, so we can add new items. So let's go into that. Let's just pick a few of them. This is the standard application menu. We've got rid of that and we've installed the whisker menu, which is more themable and we can just type things in here and I'll start looking for it. The battery monitor is not an issue of not a, not a good idea here because I am on a desktop virtual box, so won't do a thing. The Clipman clipboard is something you might want to have, so Ctrl C and it will remember it for a while. For instance, when you're doing hexadecimal coding, the color codes will remember the code you put in an hour or two hours or three hours ago, you know. So Clipman, that's a good thing. What time is it? Clock. We do have a clock already, but you can change. I don't know if it's this is the clock. That's exactly the same one. So that's the one we have already. So let's remove it again. CPU frequencies may be something that's nice. Your system does not support you know. Yeah, virtual box probably. But it, is, it supplies already something. As you can see, that's something we get. The graph, maybe, let's see, it does provide a graph here. In the meantime, my wallpaper changes, going to delete this one, delete that one, delete that one, delete that one, it's a nice one, but deleting it anyway, something more suitable. How about a whale flying in the sky? Great, two whales. Anyway, so we have this information here, and we can go to the task manager if we click on it. So that's CPU graph. Okay, remove, buy for now. Date and time, add. This is another look, if you like this look better. Do think it's a bit small for my taste, these things there. But you can tell them to be a little bit bigger. Let's try with 10, that's already something bigger. And as well, 11, yeah, why not? This one. That one, it's all about choice, keeping the normal one. Dictionary, directory menu, eyes, very stupid, but okay, fun for a while. Generic monitor, I guess we'll have to do that one on a, a real system. Remove. And what else? Power manager. Screenshot if you want to do that, but we have our screenshots, I um, our application or keyboard shield shortcuts. So, Control P, that uh, Control uh, Print Screen gives you that, and uh, Print Screen, we have gaffed that as well. And uh, so, well, if you want that, you can have it, but it's already in your keyboard shortcut. Let's see if this works. See something. Maybe we need them to be as well on an SD. If you are on wireless, the weather update is something that's nice. The weather update, no data. Please set a location in the plugin settings. Right mouse click, properties. He knows already where I'm living. Just wait for it. He's figuring it out and close. And here you have the weather in detail. Uh, Wednesday is going to be sunny. 10 degrees is not a lot. Sunny way anyway. So we could keep this one. Of course we get uh, the choice to move it. If you don't like it there you can put it in here. So I just keep this Eric down there or move the clock and move the clock down there. It's all about choices so just right mouse click and move and move it where you want to move it. This is the whisker menu, that's that one. Window buttons, workspace and all the rest is for you to check out. So this is what I'm leaving for now and um, that's all about these plugins. You can add more plugins on your panel here. Okay, cheers.